the world is uniting against Buhari's second term bid by SKC Ogbonia. Click here to read more opinion articles. The Independent newspaper reported yesterday, August 14, 2018, that many influential nations are joining to mount pressure on President Mohamedou Buhari to discard his second term ambition. The report reads in part, There is serious pressure on him from the international community, especially the United States, European Union, the United Kingdom, UK, and even Saudi Arabia. This piece was written by SKC Ogbonia. The views and opinions expressed here are those of the author and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of 360knobs.com. However, Buhari's camp did not waste time to counter this by wailing, suggesting that the report is not credible. The presidential spokesperson, Femi Adesina, added that, if there are quarters in which President Buhari is held in very high esteem, and the work he is doing for Nigeria highly lauded, it is in the countries mentioned. Some of them are equally bastions of democracy, and will not interfere in the democratic affairs of a sovereign country. The statement from the presidency is self-serving and too far from the truth. The simple truth is that neither the world nor democracy in and of itself promotes bad governance, whether in democratic, pseudo-democratic or autocratic governments. So, the international community does indeed interfere in the democratic affairs of a sovereign country, where necessary. As a leading figure in selling Buhari's candidacy to the international community in 2014 through 2015, I know firsthand the role of such democratic nations during the campaign and in the events leading to President Goodluck Jonathan's historic concession. Further, my campaign has been crisscrossing the globe in the past weeks, consulting with fellow Nigerians, as well as influential leaders within our major allies, including Great Britain, the United States, France, Germany, Russia, China, Canada, etc. I can state unequivocally that the emerging consensus among these nations is that President Buhari's second-term ambition lacks in cogency. They point to Buhari's failing health, lack of clear vision, lack of intellectual capacity, an apparent pattern of torpor, nepotism, wanton killings, disregard for the rule of law, and a growing sense of disunity and uncertainty in the land, among many failings. President Mohamedou Buhari should consider our great party and country before self. The worst omen that can meet Nigeria at this stage of national development is any opening that allows the People's Democratic Party PDP, to wangle itself back to power. Buhari's candidacy is squarely that opening, period. Therefore, it is incumbent upon more patriots, including Buhari's henchmen, to join to appeal to the president to permanently suspend his campaign, emulate Mandela, and retire with dignity. The future of the ruling APC in Nigeria belongs to a younger generation of leaders who possess the vim and the competencies to cope with the challenges of the 21st century. True. SKC Ogbonia, an APC presidential aspirant can be reached via skogbonia1 at aol.com. This piece was written by SKC Ogbonia. The views and opinions expressed here are those of the author and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of 360knobs.com. Like this. Like loading.